Make your way through the obstacle course as fast as you can. Run across the balancing beam. Go! Hit the dirt and crawl below the wire to the other side. Keep moving and clamber through that window. Quick, touch the flagpole. down again. Okay, sprint to the finish, soldier. Aim and fire at the targets. Remember to use your iron sights for accuracy. Assume the gunner position and man the heavy machine gun. Looks like this wounded soldier is going to pull through. They'll soon be healed and back in action. A compass is a useful device for determining cardinal directions and calculating azimuths. A protractor is an indispensable instrument for map-based navigation and coordinating actions such as fire support. Its measurements are given in both degrees or milliradians for greater accuracy. Find grid 023017 and create another marker there. Head to the location you just marked on your map. You can take a vehicle to get there quicker. Okay, good. That's the basics. For more information on map reading, and navigation in general, consult your field manual. Start the engine. Let's wait a moment for the main rotor to reach the necessary revolutions per minute, or RPM, for aerodynamic liftoff. by raising your collective, continue to ascend until you're at 100 meters, or 330 feet, as it appears on your altitude indicator. Keep an eye on it. It's the instrument on the top right of the dashboard. Now fly west to the last waypoint. Great work. Time to turn off the engine. Braking hard will cause your brakes to lock up. If this happens, it will temporarily lose control over your steering, as well as the brakes themselves. To avoid this, try to brake early and gently, releasing and applying pressure. Get in the construction truck and follow the waypoints to the damaged vehicle. Notice the truck is struggling to climb the hill due to its reduced traction and heavy weight. The latter also affects the driver's ability to brake or accelerate. Great job. Good as new. Command posts are of major strategic importance. By capturing one, you'll gain control over the entire base, allowing your faction to build support structures in the area. 
command posts afford storage space for supplies and increase your radio signal range, albeit by only a small amount. A radio relay station increases the range of your faction's radio signal, allowing you to attack and capture distant objectives. A light vehicle maintenance point allows you to request and fully repair light vehicles. This is an ammunition supply point. From here, you can source ammunition as well as weapons and equipment. Living quarters are support structures that can provide an infantry squad to guard the area. A field hospital provides medical supplies and allows you to completely heal any injuries you may have received in combat. At a helipad, you can request and repair helicopters. It's also the dedicated spot for landing them. Fuel supply points provide fuel for your vehicles. Fuel can be transported using fuel trucks and canisters, but it can also be accessed in situ. A heavy vehicle maintenance point allows you to request and repair heavy vehicles such as trucks. Welcome to the Building Support Structures course. Here we'll learn how to construct support structures. Find a suitable position and place a light vehicle maintenance point there. As you can see, the support structure only has its foundations. More construction works required, and you'll have to do it. Outstanding! That new addition to our base will come in handy. Thing is, we're also running a little low on construction supplies. Supplies can be stored at certain designated places, often in close proximity to support structures or a command post. They can also be left in the vicinity of such places for a limited time. When building, supplies can be used from the local building area, but those nearest the command post will be prioritized. Now, unload supplies from the rear of the truck. Friendly units will be informed about your current objective and can join you in your efforts. You will also earn battlefield promotions and progress your career faster while completing objectives in this manner. Head out to Point Arizona and seize the base there. You can requisition a vehicle if you don't want to walk. Just remember, your side can lose ground in the exact same way. Move the command truck to the village of Arleville so it can be deployed there. Heavier, man-portable radios like this one allow you to talk to your teammates over long distances. They can also be put on the ground and set up as deployment points for your team. Let's test it out. Switch on the radio and adjust the frequency to 60 megahertz. All stations, this is Alpha Main. Supplies are being distributed from Point, Pennsylvania. Out.